G'day golfers, I'm Glenn Haynes. Today we have three simple chipping tips for you that are really going to help you to sharpen up your short game. Three drills that will improve your shots around the greens and really help you with your shot selection too. As always, we've got our free downloadable training guide. That's going to be a link at the end of this video or in the description box below. And that's a free downloadable PDF that you can take with you to the practice area. Welcome to Aussie Golf Press. A common issue for consistency is a lack of connection. So we see the arms and wrists do all sorts of weird things in the chipping swing, and we want that to be more stable. So drill number one is just to get a spongy ball, some sort of kid's small beach ball. There are some products out there on the market for this, but yeah, literally just a, even a rolled up towel will do the job. Pop them between your forearms there, take your normal grip, and what this helps you to do is just stay connected. So you see this triangle that we have here formed by the shoulders and the arms, we want to maintain the integrity of that triangle right through the swing. Into the backswing, impact, and then through into the follow through. And a ball or a rolled up towel is really gonna help you to get that connection. So just set up as normal and make sure that you keep that ball between your forearms at all times through the shot. It really does help you with your consistency, your ball striking, and there's not gonna be any collapsing of the arms or bending the elbows like that. And then see if you can maintain that triangle without the ball there. That's really gonna help you with your consistency of your strike and obviously your distance control. This next drill is to do with your follow through. What we see with club golfers is the follow through is very inconsistent. Sometimes it's too short, sometimes too long, sometimes out there too much and quite often recoiled. So coming through and then pulling the club back like that, that's a sign of anxiety. We want to get into the habit of having more commitment and better body language with these shots and the follow through is where it's at. So take a couple of practice swings. This is a quick downhill chip. So the swing needs to be fairly short and backswing and follow through the same length and work out where your finish position should be for this shot. Doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, just decide on a position. And then we're gonna use a tour stick as a marker for that position. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a shot and we're going to follow through and just touch that stick lightly, but we're gonna stay there. We're gonna to commit to the shot and make sure that we're holding our finish for a second or two. That's super important. And clearly the stick is going to help us with that consistency of getting the right length of follow through too. All right, short back and through, matching, backswing and follow through the same length. Bit of an ordinary bounce that one but you see how i've just held that finish position that's commitment let's see if we can get a slightly better bounce there there we go didn't quite touch the stick but again committed held that finish and if we want to play a longer chip then we just move the stick further away up there and then the backswing and follow through are going to be longer so the ball's going to carry further but the same principle applies We've got to hold that finish at that position next to the stick there. And you can see it's carried a lot further and it's gonna run past the flag. So that's really gonna help you with your commitment, the mental aspects of your chipping, as well as getting a consistent length of finish position, which is really key to controlling your carry distance. This next drill is about club selection. So before choosing your club around the greens for any of your chips or pitches, you've really got to predict how far you want the ball to roll. You want to choose your landing spot and decide what trajectory you need and all of that. And there are lots of different variables. The slope of the green, what your lie is like, the wind, how much moisture in the ground, all of these. So it's pretty complicated. So you really need to do some work on working out how far each club is going to roll. I've got a gap wedge here and I've put a circle up there. Let's see if one, I can land it inside the circle. So that's an execution drill and a technique drill, but also it's about Club selection, course management, knowing and predicting correctly what the ball's going to do. Little bit long, and it's gone past the pin. So where I have the circle is actually pretty good. I've just carried it a little bit too far. A little bit shorter swing this time. And a little bit short, so that should end up short of the pin. Clearly I need to improve my execution and get landing inside that landing target area better. Let's see if I can get right in the middle of the circle now. 
I'm pretty happy with that. So that should be close to the flag, if not in. So clearly my strategy is right there. And there are lots of different strategies, but it's right for me. I could have used nine iron pitching wedge and landed it shorter, or I could have used sand wedge or lob wedge and carried it further. The point is understanding how far each shot's gonna roll with which club, depending on the lie you have and the other conditions that we talked about. A super drill for sharpening up that club selection and your execution of your shots. Three simple but effective drills that are gonna help many aspects of your short game. And are super, super important. So you can download the notes from today's lesson with the drills and how to set them up and how they can help each part of your short game. The link is just here or it's in the description box below. Now, pitching's very similar, but there are a couple of differences. And if you wanna learn the difference between pitching and chipping, then watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?